If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube? And welcome back to another JC2K video. And in today's video, I am going to be ranking the top 10 Galaxy Opal cards in NBA 2K21, my team right now. Just with every other ranking list that I've ever done on my channel, this list is entirely my opinion, and therefore there's a very good chance that you're going to disagree with where I have placed players on this list, or players that I left off this list that you think are top 10 Galaxy Opals in the game. Especially with cards being as good as they are now and as close together as they are, that's just very, very likely to happen, and that's totally fine. So if that is the case, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my list and who's too high who's too low who did i leave off this list all that stuff also if you haven't before we hop into this video make sure you hit that subscribe button help us push towards the 2000 subscriber mark on the channel a little bit over 300 subscribers away from that right now and uh trying to push towards that in the near future i really appreciate your support if you haven't already subscribed but without further ado let's hop right into it take a look at this at this ranking so coming in at number 10 for this list we have jonathan isaac who uh, i know a lot of people have really enjoyed using this card me personally i'm gonna be completely honest i never loved jonathan isaac for one specific reason but defensively you can't argue that he's not elite six foot eleven with seven foot two wings so the ability to play either the power forward or small forward position hot spots everywhere from outside the three as well as coming with no showtime that's one of the issues but a lot of people have added hall of fame showtime to him because that was a very very attainable badge in the token market does come with all the shooting badges you'd want playmaking badges you'd want and he's an elite defensive card similar to like a Giannis on the defensive end super long really solid defensive stats as well great ladder quickness at six foot eleven helps him a ton as well as a high three-point rating high driving dunk good athleticism as well but the thing that I think holds this card back more than him not having Showtime, because at most Jonathan Isaacs that you're going to buy are going to have Showtime anyway, is the fact that he has this jump shot 70, which isn't a bad jump shot by any means, but it's just not my favorite jump shot in this game. And uh, with this, he has good dribble sticks, pro three behind the back, pro two size up. He's a very good all around card. Great. Um defensive card great slasher as well especially once you put that showtime badge on him but that jump shot just holds him back just a little bit from being higher on this list um where i think he possibly could be and we will actually see that later on this list with that same jumper but coming in at number nine we have mr kobe bryant and this kobe bryant i like that the, the kobe that the 2k gave us this card because while he's not cheap he is much cheaper than the other kobe bryants that are in the game right now and he's a very very solid option for people who want to use kobe cards that being said i wouldn't say he's in the top elite tier of shooting guards in the game but i think he's in that next tier of shooting guards he's six foot six with a six foot eleven wingspan hot spots everywhere in 39 hops including showtime range flexible green machine dead eye dimer ankle breaker handles for days quick for step unpluggable clamps heart crusher receptor intimidator P pick dodger pogo stick pickpocket etc really solid defensive stats especially on the perimeter great driving dunk shot three and athleticism just a super good statistical card all the way around and coming with most of those key badges you'd want as well kobe release on very very quick is one of the easiest to green most consistent releases in the game in my opinion also it's the pro two size of can curry slide and pro three behind the back so all in all on paper this is a very very complete card the only thing that holds him back from being any higher on this list is the fact that he's only six foot six but that being said he's still kobe he's still a very very good card and for people who love to use kobe cards it's really cool that 2k gave us a much more affordable option for people who love kobe in 2k and uh, in real life as well so i I'll give props to 2k for doing that and then at number eight we have deandre hunter who came out today and i like this deandre hunter card a lot um Ah, it's doing that thing where it randomly doesn't let me see a player that came out today. But I'll use this this angle instead to look at this DeAndre Hunter card. And this is another really, really good card who I think I think there's an argument to be made that he's higher on this list. I'm just putting him here for now. But um six foot seven with seven foot two wingspan, hot spots everywhere in forty five Hoffs, Hoff showtime range, dead eye, catch and shoot flexible green machine hots on hunter quick first step and pluckable ankle breaker, clamps, defensive leader, heart crusher interceptor, intimidator, pick dodger, pickpocket, pogo stick, post move lockdown, gold rim as well. Really good defensive stats, like super elite defensive stats, great slashing, shooting, athleticism, great all around card. Jump shot thirty two is a very smooth release. It's not one of the best releases in the game, in my opinion, but it's quick and pretty easy to green. Definitely a super solid release also pro two size up can curry slide and has the pro three behind the back just like kobe he's basically kobe with not quite as good of a jumper a bigger player build and i would just say slightly better overall badges and defensive ability he's just a slightly better card than this kobe bryant card and i think that just barely pushes him above kobe into that number seven spot or number eight spot on the list coming in at that number seven spot on the other hand is Yi john leon who i probably am not pronouncing his name right and that's okay because I apologize, but it'll happen. Anyways, he is seven foot with a seven foot four wingspan hot at the shooting guard position. That's immediately cheese. The fact you can play seven footer at the shooting guard position is super cheese. Hot spots everywhere, 44 hops, including show, range extender, flexible green machine, hot zone hunter, 
bail out downhill handles for days, quick for step and pluckable. Most of those defensive badges do it on Hall of Fame as well. Comes with gold rim protector, good solid interior stats and perimeter stats. Nothing incredible that jumps off the page at you. Good athleticism, especially at the seven foot size as well as so a 93 shot three and a 90 driving dunk. So a super solid all around statistical card, but at seven foot at the two, he's super cheesy. The thing is he also has jump shot 70, which is that same release of Jonathan Isaac that I just don't love. It's not terrible, but it's a little bit slow and it's not the most consistently green jump shot, but does come with the pro two size up pro one behind the back as well so he's a very very solid card and i like this e card i've seen a lot of people running him he's very very cheesy his ability at it with his size helps him a lot on the defensive end of the court as as well as just he moves better because of his size and his player build despite his slightly lower speed than some of these other cards on this list and i think that just pushes him slightly above these other wings that i put um at eight and nine into the number seven spot on the list but because of his jumper he can't really be much higher than that for me personally now, coming in at number six is a card that I have not used. What did I just do? Coming in at number six is a card that I have not used. Chris Boucher. This card came out in the Season Rewind set um, a couple days ago, and he looks like a very, very good card, and I'm kind of estimating based off of how his last card was, and he's doing it again because he's a new card, but I'm estimating based off of how his diamond was and what his stat card looks like on paper, but he's 6'10", I know he's got a solid player build, 7'4", wingspan, hotspots everywhere in 46 hops, including Showtime, Flexible, Green Machine, Hots 100, Range Extender, Bailout, Quick for Step, Unpluckable, Clamps, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, Post Move, Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, and Rim Protector. So very, very complete, especially on the defensive badges and shooting badges on this card. Super solid defensive stats. Again, not the best, but definitely not terrible at all. Good athleticism. Um, 95 driving duck and 94 shot three. This jump shot 15 is a pretty solid release. It's not an amazing release, but it's definitely a decent release. I kind of, I think on very quick, it's relatively consistent, easy to green. Um, he's got the pro two size of pro three behind the back. This card moves very, very well. He's at the center position. He's got the great dribble sigs. Comes with every single key badge that you could pretty much want on a center um, just a super super good all-around card he looks like and i remember that his diamond was also a very good card easy to green release at the time that diamond was an elite uh, budget option and i think that this chris boucher also it comes in as an elite budget center in 2k21 and then at number five we have the other elite galaxy opal center in my opinion in james wiseman um, i know a lot of people on current gen specifically aren't super high on this wiseman card i have always been high on this wiseman card and uh, i think he's just a super super good all-around option um, even on current gen on next gen obviously he's amazing everybody loves this card on next gen but i'm doing these lists for current gen specifically and even on current gen i think he's a super good option seven one seven six foot six wingspan hotspots everywhere except for the top of the key which you'd like to have but isn't a deal breaker hall of fame showtime range flexible cotson hunter quick for step and pluckable clamps heart crusher interceptor intimidator pogo stick rebound chaser rim protector worm another one of those really complete defensive badged cards solid defensive stats you if i if i'm gonna buy this card i'm probably gonna put a defensive grinch on him to be completely honest to boost up this perimeter defense and ladder quick specifically uh, but he's got great dunking 88 shot three is definitely solid enough with this card and the 93 speed acceleration with the speed with ball i know this three pointer is a little bit low but with the shooting badges that he has and also the fact that he has steph curry's release with rudy gay up run very quick it's one of the better lefty jumpers in my opinion in the game it's very consistently green at least to me um, pro two sides of pro three behind the back as well with those same elite dribble sigs so I think he's just a slightly better option than Boucher because I would prefer his release slightly over Boucher's and he's got a bigger player build than Boucher as well. But um, that being said, I think Wiseman is very deserving of being a top five Galaxy Opal card in the game right now. Now, coming in at the number four position on this list, we have a guy who I would have said was probably my... F I ran this card in competitive setting for a while. He was my favorite Galaxy Opal maybe card for a while, and I really did enjoy using this Josh Smith card. I think he's very, very competitive like he's a very competitive level card still um six foot nine and seven foot wingspan hotspots everywhere in 43 hoffs off showtime range hots and hunter ankle record diamond quick for step tight handles on pluckable tons of really good defensive badges as well very very evenly distributed badged card really nice defensive stats on both the interior and the perimeter as well as great slashing shooting athleticism super complete card for an opal statistically john roll release on Gore very quick this release grew on me. I didn't like it very much at first, but it definitely grew on me a lot. I think the more you use this card, the more consistent you're going to get with his jumper, and it definitely becomes a very solid, relatively consistently easy to green jumper. Pro 2 size up as well, 6 foot 9 at the point guard position. He's got a big player build. He plays really well on the defensive end, has great defensive animations. Just a very, very good card you can get for a very, very affordable price right now. And that's one of those things about pretty much all these cards. With the exception of a couple of these guys, they're all very, very affordable, and you can get them and play them at positions that you may 
need a basically these are guys who you can fill who, who will fill a hole for you and you can play any of these guys in a competitive setting and they will not let you down because they can compete against the best cards in the game at those positions and josh smith is no different one of the best budget point guards in my team right now Coming in at number three is a guy who I think has been super overlooked in Cliff Robinson. This Cliff Robinson card is souped and nobody is talking about him. Six foot ten with a seven foot one wingspan, hot spots everywhere from outside the three and a 43 hoffs, including showtime, flexible, range, catch and shoot, quick first step, unpluckable, downhill, clamps, heart crusher, interceptor, intimidator, post move, lockdown, rebound chaser, rim protector. He has that rebound chaser and rim protector at the shooting guard positions. And he's six foot ten, built similar to KD. Just a really, really nice card. Um, great defensive stats as well, like exceptional defensive stats on both the interior and the perimeter, especially at six foot ten. He's a monster on the defensive end. Ninety-five driving dunk, ninety-five shot three, and really good speed, speed with ball and acceleration. Also comes with the unrelated waiters release on very quick, pretty good release, easy to grain, consistent, fast. I like this jumper a lot. Pro two size up and pro through behind the back as well, so he's got those perfect dribble sticks that everybody likes to see. Um, and yeah, he just statistically is exceptional for an opal, especially on the defensive end of the court. His slashing, his speed. He comes with all the key bad that you'd want just an elite card who nobody really talks about and i think cliff robinson is the best budget shooting guard in the game right now um just a super elite option if you haven't used this card i 100 recommend picking him up and then at the number two position we have another guy who came out in this out of position three set which now we've seen three of those cards um on this list in west unsealed and this west unsealed card again is a super elite budget point guard i played against um i i actually lost a competitive series a couple days ago where against um a guy fade to justin if y'all know who that is who was running this west unsealed as backup point guard and he's one of the best players in the world and this card is very 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 usable in a competitive setting and not only usable i would say he's elite in a competitive setting six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan because he has an afro he's got about a six foot nine player build hot spots everywhere in 48 hops including showtime range depth ankle breaker bailout handles for days quick first step basically every playmaking badge and defensive badge that you could want with the exception of maybe rim protector um also super solid defensive stats they're not amazing again put a defensive shoe on this card if you're going to run him in a competitive setting but he still competes way better than these stats would say when i used this card i was shocked at how good he sits on defense great athleticism as well it's driving dunk shooting amazing obviously has the kobe release on very quick as well which as i said earlier is one of my favorite releases in the game one of the most consistent and easy to green and as pro 2 can curry slide which is super nice at that point guard position and the pro three behind the back um plus his big player build he's just elite on both ends of the court exceptional offensive lad say he's a top three or four offensive point guard in the game and a top five defensive point guard in the game this card is legitimately a top five point guard in the game and i think he's just a super super elite on both ends, both ends of the court and i think just deserves entirely to be the number two galaxy opal on this list and then coming in at number one i don't think it's any surprise danny ferry the one guy who i still run in my competitive lineup uh, and i think danny ferry will probably run in my competitive lineup for the rest of this year i've talked about this card more than maybe any other card on my channel except for maybe bull bull but obviously i will go over him briefly again for those of y'all who haven't heard six foot ten with a seven foot five wingspan 33 hops and 34 golds 67 total badges off showtime range hot zone hunter dead eye handles for days quick for step unpluckable bailout clamps heart crusher interceptor intimidator pogo stick and rim protector only comes with six defensive badges base but in my opinion they're arguably the most six the six most important defensive badges that you could have on a card in a game and the thing is his badges are super super well distributed he doesn't have a lot of wasted badges like he has contact finisher and showtime those are the only two important finishing badges he has the important shooting badges he has the important playmaking badges, and he has the important defensive badges on hall of fame and then you also come look at his stats he's got a massive player build by the way he looks about seven foot tall really solid defensive stats on both the interior and the perimeter not high ladder this helps him a lot great driving dunk great shot three super good athleticism at six foot ten with 95 speed he moves he's a blur and then he also has the pro two sides at pro three behind the back just like a lot of other cards in this list but he moves disgustingly with jump shot 98 and rudy gay upper on very quick this is one of the quickest best jumpers in the game for a 300 this card is a dream he is elite on both ends of the court perfect dribble sigs just an exceptional offensive card and defensive card i think there's a very good chance that my danny ferry will be in my lineup until in game with only 33 hoffs he's still the best galaxy up on the game my danny ferry has 43 hall of fame badges a lot of people have added a lot of extra hall of fame badges to this ferry card and understandably so because he is so good i love this card if you have this card i don't see a reason why he would not still be in your lineup in all honesty 
especially if you play on current and he is that good 100 deserving of being the number one galaxy opal in the game still that being said that is going to do it for this video if you did enjoy please make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and let me know what you think of my list as well and make sure you don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to help me push towards the 2000 subscriber mark on this channel feel free to pick up any of these galaxy opals as well all of them will serve you well in a competitive setting and let me know what you think of these cards and i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all peace